I want to let you know how to set a LAN party yourself, okay? Excellent! So here's how to do it. Now we all know space is a concern when it comes to LAN parties. People need to put stuff somewhere. Six foot tables are going to be sufficient for you. Give yourself a little bit of elbow room per person. About three foot a person would be good. So for one six foot table, you're going to have two gamers. Why that power leak has unbalanced the ship and she's starting to drift. I can't hold her in place that long. Are you going to have a larger party than that? You're going to want to use eight foot tables for that. Now, you can usually seat three people at a table. So they're going to have about two and a half feet of elbow room. It'll be a little bit crowded. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now we want to stay away from those card tables because they're pretty flimsy. I mean, if they won't even support a home cooked meal, <laughs> you're not going to be able to put a hundred pounds of equipment on them. Whoa. You can probably get a generous church to donate some tables or let you borrow them for a little donation or maybe for free. Now we all know that the standard spacing for land parties is to have about two tables wide three tables long, enough room for probably 12 gamers, but not limited to that, of course. Captain, I've located the source of the power shutdown. Hey, we're just here for fun, so don't go messing around with a bunch of cables. The easiest arrangement is what we just said. Most networking areas are easily located, and you can fix the problems without any hassle. Captain, I'll check the engines. The warp drive, that's a hopeless pile of junk. The power for the land parties is a huge thing to consider. A good rule of thumb for any land party is to assume that four gamers per circuit would equal to about 20 amps to start up the computer, which would be playing it safe. Apartments do not apply by these rules, so check with the attendant to see what the circuits can hold. Most new homes built have 200 amp circuits, while older homes tend to have 100 amp circuits. Find out which style of circuit homes have, open the breaker box and the amount of amperage should be listed. If not, call that electrician guy. If you want to do it the cheap way, take a lamp and plug it into an outlet, then turn the breaker box switch on and off till the lamp goes off. Then label that circuit. Why don't you take a picture of the lamp plugger? Another rule is to take the number of gamers and multiply it by four. You'll get the total amperage. As long as the LAN party participants stay under 24 gamers and 4 gamers to a circuit, then they should be alright. Plan on connecting 4 gamers to each circuit, and that should keep it from overloading. Keep in mind that most homes were designed by thinking that all circuits will not be on at the same time. Be aware of other electronics, lights, etc. running in or around the home that will draw amps. For example, if a hot tub or microwave oven requires 50 amps on a 100 amp circuit, then on unplugging them from the power to run the CPUs, that would be a good idea. This will also help prevent overloading of the circuits. That does not compute. Dedicate one CPU to be the server only. Do not play the game on this computer, as the CPU will tend to lag down the rest of the gamers. The server needs to have an updated Ethernet comparable card. One gig preferably, but only if the rest of the gamers have one gig Ethernet also, or it won't do any good. A rule of thumb is that if 16 gamers play two games, have at least one gig CPU server. This server needs to stay as cool as possible. Liquid cool is recommended, but not necessary. A regular fan will work. Overheating will cause a lot of game lag too. Remember to pamper the CPUs and RAM of the server. Every little bit improves the performance. Well, the equipment's guaranteed, but I have my doubts about the stuff inside. Investing in a dual core processor is a bit on the pricey side, but believe me, it's worth every penny. The faster the hard drive or max cache the CPU has, the better the performance of the game also. Remember to check for game requirements and online updates as needed. Last but not least, if you have hardware and you haven't set up your IPs to tell it where to go, it's not going to do anything for you. Bogus! So, let me just tell you, the 
the IP address, which is equal to internet protocol address, is a unique address that devices use in order to identify and communicate with each other on a computer network or internet. An IP address can be thought of as an equivalent to a street address or a phone number for a computer or other network device on the internet. Just as each street address or phone number uniquely identifies that building or telephone, an IP address can uniquely identify a specific computer or a network device on a network. My micro mechanism thanks you, my computer tapes thank you, and I thank you.